cool out there today. The please, it's nice and warm in here. Well, happy April, everybody. It's the 2nd of April. It's now Monday. So, all I'm doing, I've just come down to check on the fire, of course. I'll be here doing a regular thing now as well. Um, there's a bit nippy in here, so uh, I'll have to stoke that up and get it sorted out. Um, other than that, there's not much else happening down in the plot today due to the weather. It's absolutely pouring down with rain. Um, it's going to be in for the rest of the day as well, so I'm just trying to make sure everything is nice and warm, wrapped up, things like that. Um, so what I'm going to buy, while I'm here, what I'm going to do is um, I bought some kale from Wilkinson's. So I'm going to get that put in, uh, and because I've never grown it before, but I've had a lot of good. There's been a lot of people saying that it's nice and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to get the um, the kale in. Uh, I'm just going to do it the same way I've done my brassicas and my cabbages and things. So I'm going to do them in the little pots, um, put them through there, and just do so every two weeks. I am going to go back up home, then I'm going to go in the greenhouse at home and start putting up the last lot of tomatoes. So I'm going to sow the last lot of tomatoes. Um, I'm also going to start potting on the tomatoes that's already in. Um, there's a few there, so I'm pleased, pleased with that. Um, germinated all right, so I'm going to get cracking on with them. All right. Hey guys, bit different today. Um, bit of different scenery. I'm at home at the moment. As you can see, there's Lily in the background. Sitting next to us, Daisy. You can't see her, but she's just there. Um, anyways, reason I'm not at the garden is because little Kyle's not well, um, and the two girls are out with uh, with Leslie, so um, I've kind of restricted what I do today. So um, I've been in the greenhouse, been through my seeds, and I found some bits and uh, some some seeds that I'm gonna get sown. There's extras sort of thing as well. I have been um, germinating my sweet corn. I mean, I had a lot of problems last year with my sweet corn. Um, I took three batches before I used the germination technique, whereas I put the the sweet corn on the on a bit of kitchen roll and put it in a like a propagator sort of thing, um, which would turn out to be like a Tupperware box, which uh, I would highly recommend, because that's what I'm doing with all the majority of my stuff, from like pumpkins, um, the the sweet corn of course, you can do it with parsnips, and, uh, parsnips like I mentioned before as well. Um, so anyways, what I've done there is, I've gotten two lots, uh, two different varieties, I've got Incredible, and I've got Lark. Um, of course I've got Dave's uh, sweet corn as well, which I've already put in a pot, Done that a bit different. I've just put them straight into the pots. I do have some more which I will germinate. Um, we'll probably start doing that next uh, end of this week, and um, so I can put it in for next week. So two, once again, two weeks staggered effect. And um, so what I've got here is I've already got my little plant label sorted out. So as you can see here, I've got some that's been germinated. So I'll pick one out. I think I've got around about 17 of them at the moment. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 10 in. Because um, I'm going to put them in the cell trays of 10 that I've got. Just for ease of access. And it's, it's just a lot easier. With the, the amount that I've gotten off the lad next door. It, they work just as well as the uh, the cups that I used to use as well. Just trying to save space and stuff. Because when the time comes to um, potting on and everything like that. That's going to be an absolute nightmare. So luckily with these I should be alright just to put them in here. Then straight out. Right, so with the sweet corn, um, what I've done is I've just well, obviously got the 10 cell seed trays. I put the uh, hole right down to the bottom. Um, I'm going to get the, the sweet corn, make sure the root is facing down over, and just pop it in there. Now, the ones with the longer shoots, I'll just uh, uh, place in very gently. So we'll just put that into there. We'll go and make sure that the, point, the top is pointing up over. There's four. They'll find a way up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I'll just cover them up. Now we don't want them too deep. It'll take forever to come back through. But what you want them to do is you want them like I, like I've mentioned in the past, twice the the twice the depth of what the seed is. So as you can see, they're sweet corn seeds. So so if you want them, you have them that size, where so you want to put them. 
So you're like two, two or three fingernails down. So there's one, and there's two. You can see that there. Put that in there. Uh, one, two. As of at the moment, that's them done. So there's the sweet corn, first lot of sweet corn in. So just to give you a quick look in on the windowsill for the leaks that's happening. I've nicked some of the buttons last night. Um, I lost my watering can, so I had an empty milk bottle. A few holes in the top, and just fill it up. And then all I need to do now is I'm going to water it. Done. <laughs> Got a little handy tip. But uh, yeah, I nicked the leaks. These are all giants on here. These are the ones I'll be transplanting into the green the, the polytunnel. And they've got the big CSS leak there as well. Yeah, that's where they're sitting at the moment. So I'm gonna get cracked on with these ones here. And we'll get cracked on these cabbages, uh, these cauliflowers and broccoli. And I'll see you there uh, once I see what happens after that. miserable day. I wish this weather would just go away, you know. <laughs> it's it's Wednesday morning, I've been out the allotment hut to go and get some more compost. And I've gotten some uh, so I've picked some compost up, picked some blood fish and bone up and I've managed to pick some uh, a special buy up as well, which I'll show you once I get sorted out. Right, I need to go and get the rest of the stuff out of the car so I'll be right back. Well, like I said before, um, I've been out in the Lockman shop and uh, I've picked up uh, some blood fish and bone. I've picked up some more Humax compost because I've got a lot of potting on to do, um, which I've still got some stuff up at the home of the bed and plants to get sorted out with as well. Uh, so what else have I picked up? I've picked up my main crop potatoes. So I'm trying this year's, I'm gonna try King Edward and a blight resistant uh, Sarpo Sarp Miro. Um, so I'm gonna give them a go as well. Um, I've also, I'll just show you, I spotted these as well, so when it comes to the bedding plants and everything for to pot on and get sorted out once they get get ready to be put out in the final places. Um, hanger basket cages, special offer. So I've picked up, I've picked up some of them as well. So and uh, yeah, well that's pretty much that's what I've uh, that's what I've picked up. That's what I've managed to pick up today. So the plan is when I keep when I come down of course I've got a plan of action to get sorted out with. I want to get the Benz swing set down, um down the bottom there. It's, that's absolutely pouring the rain down inside outside. I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, I'm gonna get that pulled down today in bits and then get transported taken at home. Um, I'm gonna throw out all these leaks that I've got out in here, they're gonna go outside. I might have, to be to be honest, what I'll do is I'll put all the leaks in the bottom greenhouse. Just put them on the floor and let them go. And um, see what happens with them. They'll, they'll be no good. Like if I've had some spare space, I might put them in. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna get this place tidied up and cleared up so I can get all my bench space back because I'm gonna need it. Um, so that's the predominant couple of things I want to get done today in the next couple of hours. What I want to get sorted out. I've just noticed outside there some colour um, coming from the. I can't remember what out there. I think they were tulips. Um, but I'll show you them um, once I get sorted as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get cracked on and let's see what I can get done today. Finally getting a break in the weather, so I'm gonna get this uh, swing set taken down, so I'll quickly show you obviously before. So that's it before, and this will be it after. Ta-da, all down. So I'm gonna put all of, the, all of them in the car, take them home, and this bed here this year, I will be using for sweet corn. So once the weather dries out, I'll pull that over out over the top. I'll um, I'll dig it over, then uh, add some blue fish and bone and stuff. Um, then uh, get it sorted. I'll put some bone meal down. Then uh, get it ready for for the sweet corn. But that's another job done. Now we need to take it home and put it up. <laughs> right, on to the next task. Well, it may not look like, look like much in here, but. Um I've created some more bench space and stuff like that and I've created a new little uh, heat bench as well for the chilies and stuff. Um, I've actually spent the majority of my time today, um, obviously of course taking the swing set down. Um, and also my fire hasn't been uh, 
drawing properly so it's not been heating it's not been warming um, the greenhouse up basically for the past five six days it's been pretty cold so i've uh, took everything out of it um took the fire bricks and all stuff out give it a good shake around give it a good clean out and uh, i've put it all back in and it's now absolutely scorching here um, so I'm pleased I managed to get that sorted out, uh, even though it's not working with the heating system, of course, but it's, it's hot enough now to heat the whole greenhouse. Um, in here is much warmer than it is through there. Um, through there is only 15 degrees, in here it feels more like 20, 25. Um, but what I've done in here is I've added a good tidy up, I've made a new little bench underneath me, underneath one of these bench near the pipes, because the top pipe still gets hot. Uh, with the steam and the heat of course um, so I'll spin this around I'll show you what I've been doing in here and then uh, like I say I'll have to see what, see what else I need to get done starting off in here what I've done in here is uh, I've, wait, I've, I've sort of tidied this bench up um, I've put all my pots and everything I need in here um, that's ready to go so uh, yeah uh, everything up here is exactly the same as what it was before so there's no change on there um, no change here either I've picked up another one of these because I've picked up my me, uh, me main crop potatoes, two different varieties, but I'll show you them in a second. Um, underneath my bench here, I've, I've half had a little tidy up on here, just so I've, I've thrown out a fair bit of stuff that was underneath here. Um, and just kept stuff what's in arm's reach, just the stuff that I need. Um, spin you around, uh, da -da 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 -da, on this side. I've got a bit more space down the back there. Um, I'm going to move this stuff over. I've got these, the chilies, the, the sweet peppers are in here now because this is where it's a lot warmer. Um, along the back, I've got the bell peppers uh, and also the Pablo and long spaghetti um, chilies that should be coming up shortly. I've just put a new, uh, put a couple of pack of bags over the top of there. Um, I might take them off actually with the heat that's in here. Uh, I've got my me, me granite Dave's pot leaks here, which I'm going to put back in there in the other room because it's a lot cooler in there and they're not needing to be in here so the things that was on top of here were the chilies that I moved from the middle of the greenhouse I've now put a little bench under the bottom and I've got them underneath there so where the heat is so uh, it'll be a lot warmer under there for them so hopefully the, they'll germinate better I'll give them another I'll give it another week and if they haven't germinated I'll stick another sewn in um, these were things I've just found um, an old marigold plant um, so I've taken them off there, um, taken the seeds off there and I've just put them in there and we'll see if, if they turn up because the other ones I've got haven't. Um, Through into this room, of course, the same again, I've got all my leeks on this side. I've taken the ones that are pretty either way, the smaller ones, and I've just taken them down to the bottom greenhouse. Um, I'll leave these in here. As you can see, the temperature in here at the moment is sitting at just above 17 degrees but I need to, that's why I have to open the window I think it's just it's just because I've opened this door up and the heat's of course travelling through Um, I need to put these fire bricks right, that, the ones that go down the side so that one and that one back inside the fire Um, I'll leave that one out because that was causing the problem problems Um, the croissants as you can see have all survived the accident from last week and they're starting to thrive these ones here, the first ones I put in are getting big now. These things here, they were growing in the um, the chrysanthemum pot. And I've just used all compost in there. So I think they might be cucumbers. So it'll be interesting to see if, because I'm not going to grow cucumbers, but if they grow, I'll just, I'll, I'll bang them in. Um, so I've potted them up. Um, yeah, just the, the, the leeks and everything that's in here. I mean, some of these leeks are better than the ones I've got down home. <laughs> But we'll see what happens with them. I've got my onions in here as well. So I'll put them down the bottom here so they're getting the same temperatures as the leeks are now. Like I say, I'll, I'll be much more prepared next year for these, for the leeks and the onions and stuff. Um, I've got radish in here. So they're coming up now. Uh, lettuce, no sign of the lettuce yet. The chrysanthemum evening star, which are these ones here, I put a couple of rows in, and as you can see, they're starting to germinate, which is champion. Um, lettuces, and once again, nothing's come up here yet. Come on, giants. Let's see, they they look bigger than they were last week already. Um, I'll have to move them down from there because they're going to get uh, squashed. So I have to put. I'm going to put them down into a into one of them uh, 
mushroom trays I'll put them on the bench here at the back here I've got the cleanser you need popping on possibly next week Um the pansies and stuff no no sign of them yet but yeah let's I've got uh, a bit more space in here so I'm starting to see where I need to be at but that's that in here in any case so I've got my pot and bench and everything on here Everything's I want to get my first earlies in um, as soon as the weather changes which looks like it's going to be over the, it's going to rain over the next couple of weeks um, next week or so then I'll put, I'll put them in but I'm just going to li listen to what the weather's telling us and at the minute tell us not to do nothing at the minute because <laughs> it's pouring down with rain um, but uh, they, um, uh, that way that's me for the day I'm going to go home catches next time see what happens maybe tomorrow I'll get down for a couple of hours um, hopefully the rain stays away so I actually get stuff done outside so yeah I'll see you next time I'm on Hi again, it's still Wednesday. I've uh, popped home to uh, put on some, uh, not put on, to put some more chrysanthemum uh, cuttings in. The ones from the yellow bush variety. So I've done that, and uh, I just popped, had a look at the corner, the ones that was in the corner that I put in on the 14th. It was the 14th of March. So it was just, it was three weeks ago. I think it was yesterday that I put them in, and I've said, I don't know if I've said it before, but you know what it is? I'm absolutely amazed. It's great. The amount of mini chrysanthemums I've getting for the bedding. For the bedding, uh, for the borders and stuff like that, for this year, from the four, from the the sixteen original mother plants that I got, it's absolutely mental. It's crazy. Um, I love Alpha Free. It's great. <laughs> That's basically I've just created new plants. I'll spin these around. And I'll show you the outcomes from the roots um, from just three weeks. So I'll just spin. Well, as you around. can see, I'm busy potting on. Um, I've already done these twenty. The roots on them were absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll see if I can find a, a nice one here. There's a big one there. and see what it's like underneath. It's not too bad for three weeks. I'll put that uh, put them straight in. And I've got these ones here as well. This were done in the clover compost, and these were done in the Humax compost with a bit of perlite and stuff mixed in. This was just sold purposely, uh, it was just clover, and so I didn't put no rooting powder or nothing on. As you can see, there you go, there's another new little plant. Took it into its new little resting spot. Get another one up. Nice long root. Nice long root just for three just for three weeks. It's not bad. I normally wait four weeks to see what what they were like. I just so happened to be I was in here. And I just happened to uh, have a look to see what space I can make because I'm running with space again in the greenhouse at home. Uh, so look, look at that. Just from a little, just from a little one, a little cutting. Great. And if all of these flower this year, it'll be absolutely fantastic. I'll have such a show in the garden. I'll be able to take some down to my mum's and stuff as well, and I'll probably end up not being able to give these these away. <laughs> I mean, that's just great. That it's great. Always worth it. It's worth doing. So if you see any little chrysanthemums or anything like that in Morrison's, grab yourself them. Because like I say, the what the, they all come from these ones, these plants here. So these are all cuttings from these plants. And as you can see, that I've left these and they're starting to uh, starting to bulk out now. I will be putting these ones straight into the outside when the weather gets a bit warmer. But uh, yeah, I mean, 10, 20, 30, 40 pence, 40 pence worth of uh, of plants there have created. That these we've created them we've created them they've created those 20 they have created two four six seven eight nine ten those ten and I do believe I've got some down at the allotment as well which I do, I know I've got some down at the allotment. So it's it's I've absolutely getting I've getting a ton, ton of uh, of new border plants. Um 
so I'm happy with them. So I'll definitely be doing that next year again, along with the rest of the chrysanthemums that I'll be getting and I've got. Um, so and just it's just the the dahlias now. Hopefully they take root, but we'll see in a couple of weeks' time. See what the uh, outcome of them are. Um, but like I say, I'm just going to crack on getting these finished off, and I'm going inside. So I'll uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's um, it's it's now Saturday morning. Um, I'm down in the greenhouse at the back garden, as you can see. Um, I'm busy putting up these uh, antrinium, um, the snapdragons. It's the ones that were in the uh, ones that were in here, which I hadn't marked. I found the picture from um, when I planted them out, which I'm pleased I took the picture um, of all the stuff that I've taken. So now I know exactly what it is. Uh, I've now obviously got labels and stuff. So I'm busy putting them on into these hexagonal pots. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting seven per pot. I'm doing four of the uh, Tom Thumb variety and I'm doing four of the Rembrandt variety, just for home. Um, then what I'll do is I'll pop them into the 20 cell seed trays, I'll separate them all off, take them down to the garden, let them grow down there, then uh, I'll decide what to do with them when they get a bit bigger. Um, so that's what I'm doing in here at the moment. I've also got some turnip and stuff. I'm going to start sowing a bit early. Uh, I've got turnip and I've got some uh, some other stuff which is down there. And I'll give you a quick look around in here as well because there's some uh, some movement on some a few things. Um, so I'll get this crack on and I'll catch this in a little bit. Okay, so what you can see here is these are, uh, the, okay, so like I said, the the uh, antrinium, the Tom Thumb on this side and the Rembrandt on this side. Now I saw these a while ago, um, I think it was back in January. Um, as you can see, they're, they're a good height to start potting on. Now what I've done is, I've had a quick look this morning on how other people do it and stuff like that. Um, and I've got these hexagonal pots which I had me little rose bushes and stuff in. I've put the rose bushes in the front garden uh, with my little flower bed that I created. Um, and I'm putting seven of the plants per pot here. So I've got four, I've got eight, eight of these, uh, eight of these pots so I've got four Rembrandt I'm gonna do four Tom Thumb now so all I've done is just fill the, fill the tops up as a uh, Humax compost compost with uh, vermiculite uh, I've just put my finger down like that popped it in covered it up and then what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna pop them outside in the cold frame just because I've got no space in here for them um, so that's them done we'll do the same with the Tom Thumb variety then uh, I'm going to put all of the, um, these ones here, I'm just going to put into the 20 cell seed trays, take them down the allotment and let them go from there. That's those snapdragons all potted on. Um, I'm, I'll show you them, then I'll give you a quick tour around in here, see what's going on, then uh, that'll be it for the week. So, what I've got here is, I've got the hexagonal plants, like I mentioned before, a seven in each one. These are the Tom Thumb variety, which uh, I'll see if I can put a picture up uh, as well. And these ones are the Rembrandt, so I've got once again seven in each pot. These will be staying at home. And I've got uh, I've got I've put two in each one here. These are the spare ones which will be going on with the allotment. And uh, also these Tom Thumb will be going down to the allotment as well. So there's a few there's a few in there. Pick the ones that look the best. So that's them done and dusted. I'm gonna do me turnips and everything. But then just once I finish this, but. Um, Bit of success here. The marigolds, second lot of marigolds that I planted. As you can see, I'm gonna have a lot of potting on to do. Um, they're the French Petite um, mixed variety. So a couple more weeks, and then they'll be ready to be potted on. Um, and also the orange boy, the French, the French ones. Much better germination in them ones as well. There's two packets in there, so they're coming along, canny. The tomatoes are coming on all right as well. I'm gonna leave some bounce. So I've got the Roma and the Sweet Millions in there. These are from the first lot that I had. As of the flowers, is uh, there's nothing coming up on these bits here, except here. So on the it's on the China China Astas. There's a little one popped up there. The Cosmos Cali Floss are up. Uh, the Golden Eye are up as well. Yeah, you put some water on the rest of them there. The garden has delight tomatoes. They're up as well. I don't need to do another batch another so one of them. The dahlia cuttings. They haven't died yet. Well, there's one there that's died. I'll pull that out. Um, I was seen that was going the other day. Um, I'll pull them out. 
pull out in a minute. But the dahlias, there's uh, the more growth on them, which is a good sign. It's a nice uh, cutting to take off that one. We take more cuttings, not long to be honest. So as you can see, there's, uh, there's, there's still some growing on there. We've got some uh, growth on this this one here as well, which is the. Let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, I've been, uh, I've on. I should really mark them, but never mind. Sorry, the bottle was in the way. And anyway, lost focus. Got some, uh, got it looks like a growth, bit of growth on that one as well. And the uh, pom pom mix variety, the two that I left on, they're ready to be taken off as well. So that's pretty much it in here. I've still got them, so a few onions here, which I'll take down to the apartment. Oh, up here, I'll show you up here as well. So we've got the Swan River daisies here, we've got Lobelia, which coming up, Rhonda Davis pot leaks. They're, they're spreading their air, spreading their wings up there. There's the few marigold that I saved from the first variety, the orange orange boy. These uh, these chrysanthemums will be going out shortly. They'll be going out in the front garden. As soon as I know that the frost have all disappeared. This one with our daisies that I got from eBay. They've had a poor germination for the amount that I put in. The red cherry that I put in first, the marigolds. They are they're the only ones that's left out of the whole packet. So hopefully they're doing do all right. Um, I've got more tomatoes up here. The Americans, I've got three American and three Spanish. Now these are the first ones that I put in. I'll spin you, so I'm gonna show you the other ones, see what they are at the moment as well, because I actually haven't had a look. Geraniums from seed. There's nine there all together. They're coming up. Sitting along nicely. And the geraniums that I potted up, the mini mums that I potted up, I think these are the third batch. They're doing all right as well. So, I'll spin you around. Of course, I say I've got the onions here, which I'll be taking a lotment. Oh, I didn't show you this. I've, um, I've potted all them um, uh, Livingston daisies on. So, it looks a bit of a mess, but it's the best I could do with it next year. I'll just be throwing them directly in the seed trays, no messing about. Um, so lesson learned from that as well. Um, there's some more the marigolds there. Uh, only comb. There was only four that I managed to save. So tomatoes. Second batch of the Spanish tomatoes has come up. So I've got three there. Uh, no sign of the American second batch coming up. The money makers. I've had better germination with the second lot there, as you can see, because I've only got two out of ten on the first one. There's one, two, three, four, five, there's five there, six, and six there for the second batch of sauce ones for the money maker. Under this one here, we have the Tigerella at the back. So we've got three Tigerella plants now. <laughs> Roma has been great. Um, and two, four, six. I mean, there's eight there. In the tomatoes, the sweet millions. There's a late bloomer there on the uh, on the last one. I'll get that and put that in with the rest of the sweet millions. There's a spare, there's a spare seed cell tree there. Um, the second batch has come up as well. And like I mentioned before, I've um, I've sowed I've sowed a few in these seed trees here. So no, I haven't. That's not in these. There they are. Yes, half there. Tiger are. So there's, tiger, there's a full pack of Tigerella in here. And there's also, I've also got Money Maker and Gardener's Delight in here as well. But I've planted them on the 2nd of the 4th, so uh, there'll be no sign of them just yet. Underneath here, let me just move some stuff out of the way here. Put the door up. Two panel improved. And you get some colours on them. Uh, they're just waste leaks. They were cumbrians, I believe. Um, the sunflowers for the sunflower uh, sunflower challenge I've got competition. Um, they're just ticking along nice and slowly in here. The other ones I've got upstairs are about the same height as them sticks. So I've got these are giant singles from Wilkinsons. I've got a couple more down the back there as well. 
my granddad Dave's pot leaks, the first the first ones I, I sewed. They're sitting down here and the lights ticking along nicely. Um along with uh, these ones here. Uh, spin this around, make sure it is, yep, yeah, granddad Dave pot leak. I've got my muscle bro on uh, leaks in there. These are all just coming on really slowly. But uh, that's that's them there as well. The muscle bro. I've got two onions in the back, background. Uh, so all them onions will be getting taken potted on um shortly. I've got a giant cabbage in here which is down there. Now this one here. That's a giant cabbage. More sunflowers and there eels are creating onions at the back there in that pot. There's also some eels I create down the back there as well. I'm gonna change all of this around. Uh, I've got mammoth improved onions at the back here. Uh, see, I'm, gonna, I'm growing all my onions from seed this year. And we'll see how, see how they go. Um, see if it's better growing from seed. I've been told it's better growing from seed than it is to put in sets. And at the minute with the sets that I've got at the garden, they're not doing very well. Um, sorry about that, I dropped the camera. <laughs> um, one more thing to show you before I show it off. That leaks looking all right. Let me take that down to the garden. I'll stick that up the way there. I'll show it off, I'll show you these while I'm here and I'll show you the last thing I was going to show you. So these are all the spare sunflowers I've got, the giant singles. So I've got all of them. And I've got all of these. Now these will be taken to the school gardening club. But except from these four here. These four here are the giant sunflowers from the giant, uh, giant veg website. Um, the red cherry marigolds I've managed to get into 20 cell seed trays they're looking all right last thing I'm going to show you is uh, well, these uh, these chrysanthemums from the bush they haven't died they haven't withered so hopefully you'll get some rooting on there in the next couple of weeks um, also these mini mums as well I mean these I've, I'm not taking any more cuttings from the mini mums I'm just growing the ones that I've got um, they're coming along all right as well I'll give them a water but uh, that's me all done and dusted for in here and that's me done and dusted for the week another productive week um, up at home and on the allotment um, getting flower beds and I sorted in the front garden I've got everything it's, it's ready for the flowers to go in um, some more things potted on looks like I'm going to have a lot of potting on to do with the marigolds um, of course I already did the cleanse like yesterday um, so I've got a lot of marigolds to be putting on so that's going to be a good few hours down at the allotment because I'll just take them straight down there so I can put them straight into the uh, the cold, the unheated greenhouse um, everything's ticking along nice and slowly everything's coming coming on like I said we're four, four to five weeks behind from what we were last year due to the weather but thankfully that's the frosts and the cold weather gone should be no more I'll be getting my um, potatoes planted and everything and first earlies and second earlies getting them done next week because um, I've got uh, I've got a week left before I start work so I'm going to try and get as much done as I can but we'll just have to see how I get on um, thankfully I've got uh, my granddad to help us out as well down at the garden but yeah, right, well that's me done. Thanks very much for watching. Um, hello to all the new subscribers. It's close to 600 now, um, of course on YouTube and all the people that's like the Facebook page as well. Welcome to all you guys as well. I'm pleased you're joining. Um, if you've ever, I, I get, I'm getting loads and loads of messages as well. So thanks for all your messages. It's, like I said, previous videos, it's nice to see how he's all getting on. Um, a few of you guys' gardens are massive. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, I struggle to get stuff sorted with my little one. <laughs> but some ease I got two, three, four, five. It's it, it's it's madness. I don't know how easy to get time to do it. But um yeah, it's personally with the help, um it's been help the kids being off school this week and they're off school next week as well. Um so hopefully let's see what we'll get done next week. Like I say, potatoes are going next week. There's some other things that's gonna get started next week off as well. I'll be going through the April sewing box, but I'm blabbering on now. Um and I've got a new I bought something this week, which uh, and it gets sorted out as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, but as for me, I'm I'm gone now. I'm uh, yabbering on it. Like I say, <laughs> I'll see you next week. What you're uh, doing? See you later.